Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see the problem related with mechanics of solids in the topic of stresses in the composite bars. So the problem is a compound bar of length 500 mm consists of a strip of aluminium of 40 mm wide and 15 mm thickness and the strip of steel 40 mm and 10 mm thickness so rigidly joined at the end. So there is a composite material contains the aluminium and as well as the steel bars. Okay. So now joint at the ends. So it rigidly joined at the ends. So if the bar is subjected to a load of 50 kN, so the load is 50 kN, find the stresses developed in each material and the extension of the bar take modulus of elasticity of the aluminium and steel as 1.1 uh, into 10 power 5 Newton per mm square and 2.1 Newton per 5 Newton per mm square. Okay, so these are all the given values. So now given so we can take the aluminium value so first thing is length length L equal to 500 mm okay so now next thing is aluminium so aluminium uh, that is a uh, so now B equal to 40 mm that is width and thickness T equal to 15 mm okay so now we can take the area area of aluminium is 40 into 15 okay so now we got the value of 600 mm square okay so next thing is uh, for steel b is again 40 mm and thickness t equal to 10 mm okay so now area of steel is 40 into 10 equal to 400 mm square okay so next thing is p so load is 50 kN that is 50 into 10 power 3 newton okay so next thing is uh, for aluminium ea equal to 1.1 into 10 power 5 newton per mm square so then e yes that is x modulus of uh, modulus of elasticity of steel 2.1 into 10 power 5 newton per mm square okay so these are all the given values so now so we have to find the stress developed that is uh, sigma value of aluminium as well as sigma of S. Yes, okay, so steel. Okay, so for that we can find out the uh, load and as well as we can find out the area. So now sigma A equal to PA divided by area of aluminium. So that is load by area. So then sigma S equal to PS divided by AS. Okay, so now we found out the uh, aluminium value. So the A, A we found out and also A, S also we found out. Okay, so now we have to find out the PA and PS value. After that we can find out the uh, stresses developed easily. So then extension of the bar also we have to find out that is del L. Okay, so we have to find out. So we know change in length of aluminium equal to change in length of steel uh, though it is a composite material. So change in length of aluminium equal to change in length of steel. Okay, so from that we can know del L A equal to del L S. Okay, so now we know the formula uh, change in length P A into L A divided by a a into a so p l by a e so it's a change in length equal to p l divided by a e this is the formula so first thing is we can take the aluminium so p a and l a and e a and a a okay so now likewise we can take p s l s divided by area of s and x plus of steel okay so now the change in length uh, is same because uh, l a and l s is uh, same the 500 mm so we can cancel so now we can take p a divided by a a into e a equal to p s divided by a s into e s okay so now we can take uh, p a value so p a equal to a a into e a divided by a s into e s into this p s value so now we can substitute all the values p a equal to area of uh, aluminium that is 600 into e a is 1.1 into 10 power 5 divided by 400 into 2.1 into 10 power 5 into p s okay so now 
we got the value of P A equal to one point sorry zero point seven eight five P S. Okay, so now we know that. So now we can take P A plus P S equal to P. Okay, so the total weight is given. So now we can take P is of uh, five fifty into ten power three equal to P A plus P S. So now we can take zero point seven eight five P S plus P S equal to fifty into ten power three. So from that we can find out P S value is two eight zero double one point. Newton. Okay, so now we can substitute the PS value. So PA equal to 0.785 into PS 28011.2. So now PA value is 21988.7 Newton. Okay. So now we found out P A and P uh, S value. So we can substitute all the values over here. We found out the stresses. So now stresses at uh, aluminium sigma A equal to P A divided by A A. So now two one nine double eight point seven divided by area of aluminium is six hundred. So now the stress value is thirty six point six four newton per mm square. Okay. So now P S uh, sigma S value P S divided by A S value. So P S is two eight uh, zero double one point two divided by four hundred. So now we got the value of seventy point zero two newton per m m square. Okay, so this is the first question answer. Okay, so next question is uh, we can find out the change extension of the bar. So now del l a equal to del l s. Okay, so now we can find out only one thing. So del l a equal to p a l a divided by a a into a. Okay, so now we can substitute all the values over here. So two one nine double eight point seven into L value is five uh, hundred divided by area six hundred into E value is one point one into ten power five. Okay, so now the change in length equal to zero point one six six m. Okay, so this is the extension. So this is the second question answer. Okay, so this is the method we can solve the problem. Again, we'll see next video. Thank you.